Hello there! My name is Fancy and in this tutorial I will quickly show you how to add HDRI environment lightings into your Blender Octane renders, such as you can see on the screen. So I have set up a simple scene where I have a camera, some object, in this case revolver, and something that will be reflecting on because everything is better with reflections, right? And now the problem is that the lighting is quite blank. And now the lighting just sucks. There is no other way to describe it. So what we'll do is go to shading. If you're interested in textures of this revolver, it was just made in Substance Painter and I'm using images. But now we are interested in our lighting, which means HDRI, which we will be talking about this. Well, you would normally simply use this setup with Blender, but it doesn't work with Octane, so I can simply delete it all. There is a little setup which you have here, and you can play with it a little bit. Let's say that I want to set time to 20 p.m. And it already looks pretty good. You can achieve pretty good results with it, but that's not what we are here for. So let's just delete it and have black. Then we will click Ctrl Shift A as always. And you know what? I will actually switch this on. And now we have darkness. So now same as with uh, normal Blender, click Ctrl Shift and you have some node set up. So we will use texture environment and point it into octane environment. Right now you are not using surface. So this is basic setup. You just need to control power and make sure to disable important sampling. Otherwise it's quite buggy. Right, you can change textures or have it just regular as it is, but you usually don't want one color because if it you want if you wanted it you could use just previous setup. So I will click again Ctrl Shift and write here image and click on image texture. Now open it and find HDRI which you want. I have some here. If you don't have any HDRI textures, just go to HDRI Heaven and download some. We will have no problem finding something interesting. And I would like to use da -da -da. For example, mosaic tunnel and connect it to texture. And here we go. The problem is that it, our HDRI is a little bit overexposed. So I will set it to one for now and then play it with it a little bit. And what's most important, select uh, 16 bit to 32 bits because HDRI have 32 colors per pixel. Now you can again control power, but I would recommend to play with power more here. And let's set gamma a little bit better, so it suits us. You should check uh, your lights on the model, not on the texture outside. So let's set it 1.4, I think would be good. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So another thing is then you want to move your uh, HDRI. That's again a little bit different than in traditional Blender. So click Ctrl Shift and right here Transform and Full Transform. Connect it to Transform. That's a lot of Transform. A little bit more and there will be some Optimus. And work on Translation. And I'm not quite sure if I think it's X. Yes. It is X. With X, yeah, X you can uh, rotate environment as much as you want, but it usually made pretty huge uh, jumps, so I would recommend to write it down manually. It's not very convenient, but it will work for now. That's about it. The other rotation and scale that are not interesting. You can uh, you can ignore rotation and scale for now. So now we have set up our basic and uh, HDRI environment, but that's not it. Let's let me show you a few. Let me show you one more trick. Well, let's delete transform because I'm gonna use just the basic one. And let's say that I like this lighting, but I would like to add something there. So I want uh, to mix that another and uh, HDRI environment. I will simply do that by copying this, clicking Control C and Control V and setting it up with, oh, 
and set it with different HDRI. Let's say it like this. So that can be simply done by creating mix texture. Setting texture one, texture two, and set, connecting it to texture. And now it's quite weird because as you can see, it's, it's blended just like this, which can be exactly what you want or maybe not. <laughs> if you set it, to, set it to zero, you will be see only this texture. But if you set it to one, you will see only this one. So as you can see, if I set it on one, I don't see any yellow light, yellow reflections here, but I would like to have them there. So I will set it to 1.6, for example, and they are just there. But now I want to get rid of this terrible environment. So I will go to setting and set it to alpha channel, which is right here, octave kernel and alpha channel. So that's it. So that's it. If you liked it, destroy the like button because that really helps. Just click on that like. And if you are interested in any other of my work, you can check out social medias down there. Or if you have made something interesting with the help of my tutorial, tag me there on Instagram or anywhere. I would like to share your work or at least look at it. If it will be good, I will share it pretty much, probably. I should stop talking.